Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday. Uh, it's August the 31st, the 14th week after Pentecost, and week one in the psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 134, and Acts 10, verse 34 to 48. Now join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95. Come, let us worship and bow down, bending the knee before our Maker. You are our God and we are your people, the flock that you shepherd. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God. Alleluia. Psalm 134, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God, which by night stand in the house of our God. Lift your hands in the sanctuary and bless God, the God that made heaven and earth. Bless you, out of Zion. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, beginning at verse 34. The Gentiles hear the good news. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching pray peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced. How God appointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, and how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God, as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And so he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And then they invited him to stay for several days. Here ends the lesson.
into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are our God and we are your people because you made us with your own hands. May we, together with all that are in heaven and earth, sing your praise this and every night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.